Two children in New York's borough of the Bronx were caught in a volley of gunfire last month. This 13-year-old girl and her five-year-old brother avoided injury, but the incident reignited calls for action. We have more people dying of gun violence than COVID. 77% of the victims of gun violence, black and brown. 77%. It is a major civil rights issue. There were more than 1,500 shootings in New York City in 2020. That's nearly twice as many as the year before. And police say nearly 900 people were shot in the first half of this year. New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo has declared a state of emergency to free up nearly $140 million to combat the problem. An Office of Gun Violence Prevention is being set up within the state's Department of Health to help provide solutions. In a statement, the Health Department says this office will collect data to make informed decisions about directing resources to emerging gun violence hotspots. More eyes looking at the same problem, uh, but in different ways, I think is going to help us uh, immensely. The state has pledged to create more than 21,000 jobs for young New Yorkers, deemed at risk of being perpetrators or victims of gun violence. We're urging the governor, hurry, 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 because that's like the carrot to bring young people in who have the highest potential to be involved in shooting, right, when we have a job for them. So he's on the right track. The rise in gun violence is a trend seen nationwide. The Biden administration has earmarked $350 billion to provide greater police funding and backing for crime prevention initiatives at the local level. It's unlikely to prove to be a silver bullet, but the hope is steps like this can start to curb a gun violence epidemic. William Denzelow, CGTN, New York.